In this video, we're just going to look at a few basic properties of natural log, which are the same properties that we have for logarithms. Because natural log of x is actually just log base e of x, we just don't write the base. So, if y equals natural log of x, then you got to imagine a base of e there, e to the y equals x. So those are equivalent statements. So let's do some basic problems. So first, let's start off with natural log of e. Well, you know, if we wanted to see what that equals, well, if we say, okay, well, natural log of e equals y, and we rewrite this as an exponential, the base is e, so what we have is e to the y, e to the y, equals e, which gives us that y equals 1. It's so one of the most basic properties we have is natural log of e equals 1. Now what if we had natural log of e to the 21st? A couple different ways we could approach this, but when this base and this base are the same, for any logarithm, it's equal to the exponent. The other thing we could think of is pulling the exponent out front, and we have 21 times, times the natural log of e, but the natural log of e is just 1, so it's just equal to 21. So these are the kind of things, properties we're going to uh, want to deal with. What if we had ln of 1 over e to the fifth? Now it's not a base e, but we could rewrite this as a base e. We could rewrite this as ln of e to the negative fifth, which we know by our property above is equal to negative 5. The same thing goes if we're if we have a natural log in the exponent of e. So for instance, if I had e to the natural log of 3, this base and this base are the same, so that's equal to 3. Same thing would go if we had an expression in there. So e to the natural log of x squared plus 2. This base and this base are the same, so that's x squared plus 2. Now these properties hold for all logs as long as these bases are the same, not just natural log. This just happens to be because I'm using a base e on both. So these are some of the properties that we need to know working with logs. If we had ln of e to the x squared plus 2, so that's all in the exponent. That's also equal to x squared plus 2. So. Again, these properties are for any logs, I just was doing them this time specifically for the natural base.